If asked in interview, do you know the difference between the WHERE and RAGE data types in Verilog? From digital design perspective, do you know where to use the RAGE and where to use the WHERE syntax? Do you know how to implement a RAGE and WHERE syntax in a regular module versus a test bench? Stay tuned till the end of the video to know all the answers with detailed examples. Hey guys welcome back in today's episode we are going to discuss the below points what is where that is net in verilog next we will give some more specific detail on where's next we will talk about what is a register data type in verilog next we will give more specific details on the register data type that is reg in verilog so there comes a inevitable question are the where and the rage are interchangeable we will intercept this question and its answer next we will compare the circuit implementation of where versus net through infographics next we will discuss the use of where versus rage for a particular module and when it is used in the test bench next we will go through some legal and illegal definition and use of the where or the rage through examples here we are done with this particular slide let's move on to the next slide what is where which is a net in terms of the vlsi perspective in verilog where physical where in the circuit so you understand the physical where which you use in breadboard to connect different components to make a analog circuit or a digital circuit so where serves that purpose in verilog Aware does not store its value. So this is the most important thing. Where cannot store a value and it must be driven by connecting the where to the output of a gate or a module and assigning a value to the where in continuous assignment. So in earlier episode, we have discussed about the continuous assignment. Please go ahead and watch that episode in case you have not watched. Aware net type variable can be used to connect signals together using continuous assignment. Here we must emphasize that we cannot use where in the left hand side assignment of any procedural block. So this is a very important thing. We cannot use in the left hand side of a procedural assignment. There are different types of nets are available in Verilog. These are where, want, war, try zero, supply zero. You can see all these things are available in Verilog. Next we have try rage, try, try and, try or, try one and supply one. In case you want to go to the detail of each of them, I will suggest you to go through the language reference manual that is LRM for Verilog. Alternatively, now since the Verilog is a subset of the system Verilog, you can also find the definitions of these type of nets in the system Verilog LRM. Now let me give a small example of the where. Here we have the input definition of A and B. And we have the output definition of sum and carry. We can use the where as is in the input or output definition like here we have used. Next we are using the assign statement. It's a continuous assignment as we have mentioned here. Then sum is equal to A XOR B. And we are also assigning the carry which is a where carry is equal to A and B. This way the where can be used for defining the data type of the interconnects and for where you have to use the assign statement like this for a continuous assignment mode. So here we are done with this particular slide. Let's move on to the next slide. More specific on where's. We have gone through the definition of the where. Now we will give some vivid detail of the where's that you can use in an interview purpose when questions are asked. Now let me go to the detail. Where elements in Verilog are simple where's or buses of arbitrary width in Verilog designs. Stateless way of connecting two pieces of Verilog based design can only be used in the model combinational logic. Connect input and output ports of a module instantiation together with some other element in your design. Used as inputs and outputs within an actual module declaration. This must be driven by something cannot store a value without being driven. So this is a limitation. The only legal type on the left hand side of an assigned statement that is the continuous assignment. 
cannot be used as the left hand side of an equal to or less than equal to sign in an always at the red block this cannot be used the where related terms cannot be used with these signs inside the always block so here we have listed out a lot more detail about the where which you can use you cannot use which is the limitation and the advantage whatever we have captured here in this slide so we are done here let's move on to the next slide what is register register not the register of a cpu that is a central processing unit we have some memory units which are called register so this is not that register you have to be very specific in your mind this is the register of the verilog language no guarantee to be a dff that is d flip flop may be a physical where the register can be a physical where holding its value until a new value is assigned to it the speciality of the register or the reg type is that it can hold a value until that value is replaced by some other value it is event driven you understand the events in terms of the verilog right a register that is reg type variable can only be driven using a procedural block that is primarily the always and initial so this is a very direct contrast with the where where it cannot be used in this kind of blocks on the contrary the reg type has to be used inside the always or initial block we have to remember that can we cannot use the reg in the left hand side of the continuous assignment so this thing we have to remember so this is a word of caution and hence we have colored it with the red color let me give a small example here of the reg type reg clk and then we have the always block beginning here and we have after every five time unit the clock is inverted so this is valid and this is end so you can see we have defined the rage type variable clock here and we have used inside the always block and here after every five time delay unit we are inverting it that means we are changing it until a value is changed the rage is holding the value after certain time here it is the five time unit the value is inverted and once it is inverted it keeps on the inverted value until that is changed by the next inversion so this is the small that is the short and sweet example of rage and here we are done with this particular slide so let's move on to the next slide more specific on rage rage elements are similar to where's but can store the information which is called state like physical registers so this is a similarity with the physical registers in digital electronics the only legal type on the left hand side of an always block is equal to or less than equal to sign the only legal type on the left hand side of an initial block is the equal to sign used in the test benches so these are the two points you should remember in the always and the initial block terminologies for the rage can be connected to the input port of a module instantiation any input port of a module can be connected with a rage which is not the part of that module can be used to create registers when used in conjunction with the always add pausage of the clock that means you can use with the pausage or negage all this type that means the edge sensitive operations can therefore be used to create both combinational and sequential logic so this particular register elements can be used in combinational or sequential circuit design can be used as the output within an actual module declaration the rage type of variable can be a output port cannot be used in the inputs within an actual module declaration so when we are writing a module itself we cannot use the rage as the inputs cannot be used on the left hand side of an assign statement so if we have a continuous assignment using the assign statement we cannot use a rage type variable in the left hand side that is the lhs cannot be connected to the output port of a module instantiation so these are the things you should remember about the rage that is register type variable in specific when asked in a interview we are done with this particular slide let's move on to the next slide here you can see the question is r where and rage interchangeable so here in this slide we'll discuss about this question and its answer the where and rage elements can be used interchangeably in certain situations in certain situation they are interchangeable except them they are not both can appear on the right hand side of a assign statement and in a always block for the 
equal to or less than equal to signs so on the rhs not on the lhs remember this on the rhs whatever is coming there the where and the rage are interchangeable next both can be connected to the input ports of a module instantiation as a input port when we are giving some input maybe in a test bench or maybe in a broader module as a input we can connect the rage to the input as well as the where to the input so these are the part where you can interchange the where and the rage where versus rage infographics here in this slide we will understand the difference of a practical use that means the circuit implementation of rage versus where through an infographics here is our digital circuit you can see these are the and gates and gates or gate and not gate so these are very familiar this is a simple circuit here we have drawn and here this box represent our module and here you can see that we have connected from these are the port right of the module if you compare it with a physical chip here we have connected them with some interconnects this interconnect this interconnect this and this this type of interconnect so these are different interconnects we have used in this module we are not naming it because it is irrelevant for the understanding perspective however you can understand that these things how are important for the wear and rage so this is a Verilog module or instance you can think this is of an instance in terms of the Verilog uh, circuit right and here we have the where or the net which are the where and the net of the interconnects that I have just highlighted few minutes back are this 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 that means wherever we are connecting these things right these are where's right and next we point out the registers registers are what this one is a register this one is a register and this one is a register because let me explain why these are registers so here we have to use a value and that value must not be flickering that means whenever we are using the value the value should be stable whatever we are connecting to the input of a module if this is a test bench and inside you instantiating this then this is a must so this must be registered this must be registered and this must be registered and when this is a test bench right or maybe in a bigger module right there whenever we are using this output to go to somewhere in that case what happens this value has to be stable over time that means this value might not flicker over time that's why this has to be the rage type so here you can understand the where or net and register these are the things that you must take care so in this slide you have just pictorially that is through the infographics you have understood what is a where type net where to use it and what is a rage type net and where to use it so here 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 so you have understood from the circuit connection perspective the usage of where and register so we are done with this particular slide so let's move on to the next slide where versus rage test bench perspective here in this slide we will discuss the where and rage when we write a module and when we write its test bench how the where and rage should be applied where and why so here is a simple module of a NOT gate that we have shown in I think in the first couple of episodes and here it's input here it is output and here is the assignment where output is the inverted input and here we end our module so this is our module you can see it next we write its test bench so this is a test bench we write the module test bench name and we write it CLK not the gate input the NOT gate input and where out check that is the not get output so this module has a input and output when we have to use it right we are defining input as rage and the output as where in the test bench not in the module in the module we have used it like where next we write our initial block and there we write our dump commands for dumping the vcd and the display command that is the print command on the screen and we continue with our variables and then we initialize the clock with one so this is the initial block and then we initialize the clock with one next at 50 time units passed we hit the finish with the dollar finish directive next we end our initial block and then we write our always block start with the, the always begin and after five time unit we invert the clock that means every after five time unit the clock will be inverted now see this has to hold the value so this is the type rage you can see this rage is inverted and the inverted value is hold for five time units and after that it is inverted again and here we end our always block next we instantiate our not get so this not get is instantiated here and what happens we give our rage the input and where to the output 
So this way we connect the input with a reg and output with a where. And here we end our test range with the end module command. So with this simple example, you can understand when a module is written and it is used in the test bench, how to define the input and output with reg and where. Hope you have understood the difference of usage of where and reg in terms of a module versus its test bench in Verilog. We are done here with this uh, slide and the example. Let's move on to the next slide. Legal versus illegal examples. Module my and y a b. Where out is y, input is a and b, where we write for the y. And here we have a always block, that is an inline always block for at the rate a or b, that means whether these are sensitive, that means when these are changing, y is a and b. And here we end our module. So illegal left hand side assignment. So you can see this is the mistake we are doing here and replace the declaration where y with the rage y. You can see here we have done the mistake. Since these examples of legal versus illegal, some of the examples will be legal and some of them will be illegal. So here what is illegal? We have written y which is in the left hand side, right? And we have written it as a where, where it should be as rage because it has to hold the value for a time, time being and here it should be replaced with rage. The next example, we have the module my and y a b output y input a b and we write reg y assign y equal to a and b so here it is the illegal assignment because this is a continuous assignment and here we have used the reg in the left hand side either we remove the reg y declaration or we change it to where y you can see the legal versus illegal that means for the same module when we are writing it with the always block that means a procedural code or a continuous code that is with the assignment right whatever we use here in this continuous one rage in the left hand side is illegal here in the procedural where in the left hand side is illegal so if we change here it to where to rage this will be legal and if we remove rage y or write the where why here this becomes legal legal and illegal you can understand with this example and whatever theories we have explained so far and the examples and the infographics we have used so far in this particular video i think now you are able to understand and differentiate what is illegal in the code and why this is illegal so here we are done with this particular slide let's move on to the next slide we continue our legal versus illegal examples here here module my driver so this is kind of some driver you don't have to focus what type of driver here y a1 en1 a2 en2 all these ports are there output is y input all these four are input and assign we have a ternary operator here and again we have a assign ternary operator here we end our module here here multiple drivers on a common net using the continuous assignment module my other driver we have the same kind of ports here and we have output y input all these fours are inputs rage y always block right we have the sensitive a1 or en1 and we have the e block else block right and we have the code proceeding and we have the always again another always where a2 or en2 is there and here we have the if block again and we have the else now here we have y equal to one tick bz multiple assignments to a behavioral variable you can see there are multiple assignments to a behavioral variable using always block assignment you can decide whether which one is legal or illegal on your own because here we have not used the always block that means a procedural code here output y either we can write here the where or we leave as is and whatever assignments we are doing is okay and here when we are using the rage right in the always block right whatever we are writing here is okay Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes, put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today.